This is Eurovision Daily with Chris North from the 2014 Eurovision Song Contest in Copenhagen with Mitsubishi Lancer. Love that car, love that music. Yeah, 18 to 8 on the Triple M Grill team. Uh, are we all into Eurovision? Oh, it's man. Because it has a following. Probably. Yeah, it is awesome. You know, and, and from years gone by, Eurovision actually tamed down a little bit. It went almost because the world's becoming a smaller place mm. and everything. It become less, become more poppy and... It just lost that weirdness, but, mate, it's hit back in force uh, as far as weirdness is concerned. And we said, believe it or not, Triple M's Chris North over to Copenhagen for a very special mission. Wow. And we've got him on the line right now. Northy, how you going, brother? Hello, Europe. Hello, oh. boys. Hello, brother. <laughs> Hello, Hello, mate. Now, as far as Eurovision is concerned, this one, what did you think? Oh, wow. Um, what a, you know, we got everything. Uh, we got people on trampolines, oversized drums. We've got some bloke playing the drums on a parachute. We've got bare feet, dry ice, everything, and including a six-foot-two drag queen from Austria who seemed to win it. Yeah, well, that's it. Rise <laughs> Like a Phoenix was the winner. Um, uh, Conchita, the uh, bearded Austrian woman. If you haven't seen her, she picture this. Body of Elle McPherson, the head like Kenny Rogers. And uh, let's have a listen to her song. <laughs> from the fading So this person, uh, it, uh, she was born a man, but now she's a woman, but has kept the full beard. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure here, Paige. Uh, Chris, can you fill us in? I mean, how does this work? Oh, look, I, you know, that, I think that's the greatest mystery that exists around uh, the entire of Europe. We're just asking this question, what is it, who is it, and can we touch it? I just want to know if it's real. Um, yeah, the... I'm actually questioning as to whether this hair is actually real. Yeah, that's, that's right. It, 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 you know, it looks a pretty well, full beard to me, Northy. I've got to be honest with you. And he's and, and he's, he's an attractive man, I think. Well, well, look, you know what? Yes, he is. And you know, and and there are plenty of parodies saying to appear about the you know, rise like a phoenix, and it doesn't take long to see what kind of rhymes. But can I tell you something though, which, really, <laughs> which is really interesting? I, I ran in. I met this woman uh, yesterday who's 104 years old in a wheelchair, yeah. and she was at Eurovision with her great grandson. I don't know how many times she's been, mm. but I, I said to her, "Who do you think's going to win?" And she said, oh, um, "My home country, Austria, is going to win because it's a beautiful song, and she's a beautiful girl." Uh, oh, spoiler not... alert: crying game. It's a bloke. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Northy. Now, a lot of people are wondering, what has Eurovision got to do with the Triple M Grill Team? Well, I gave you, I, I sent you on a very special mission here. I actually gave you audio of Gus Wallen singing, right? Uh, and and which you presented to the to the judges of Eurovision under the premise that Gus yes, did. was actually competing. Now, how did he go? Well, here's the thing, right? You, you, when you, I, you might have thought I like some people think I might have just hit the streets and hit the live sites. Yeah. I didn't. I actually approached officials, and one of the people in the voice packages is the executive producer Jon Orson, who looks after who looks after some twelve thousand entries into Eurovision oh, each wow. year. And oh man, if I if I could have had a Kodak moment to take a picture of his face when he was having a listen. Well, let's have a listen to how Gus Wallen would go if he competed in Eurovision. <laughs> Lady the in red. Is that the best thing you guys could find? Like, like what is this? <laughs> He's horrible. It's dancing with me. Well, that's just regular pop music. That's not something to write home about. Well, it's just too plain, just too ordinary. I bought a ticket to the world. <laughs> It's rubbish. It's complete rubbish. It sounds really, really bad. It's he's not really putting in on any performance. He's uh, trying too hard. I, I don't understand what, why he's uh, mumbling the words. It doesn't make sense. When I want the truth to be said. So it's, horrible. it's a horrible thing to do. What is this? It doesn't sound like a song. Is this person really famous? Are they a proper singer? What is his name? Gus Wallen. But now I've come back again. Terrible. Rubbish. It's, it's pretty crap, yeah.
<laughs> yeah, well, there you go. And, and thanks, thanks, North. Even, even, <laughs> uh, even Eurovision, they don't discriminate. I was going to say, you know what it is with Eurovision? You see the acts get up and they can be horrible and the judges are so kind. <laughs> yeah. That's the only time I've actually heard any negativity out of them. <laughs> You can't have a go at me, Gus. Sorry, mate. I'm just working what I got. Yeah. That's what I'm dealing with. I well, understand. Naughty, enjoy Copenhagen, mate, and send our uh, send our best to the good people there. Yeah. Look, I certainly will, and thanks, boys. Have a great day. We'll see you next year in Austria. The Triple M Grill Team.